Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld. This time we're playing Alpha 16. Or, if you haven't seen the old series, welcome to Thet Plays RimWorld Alpha 16. Not going to be playing with any mods this time because, well, the new version of RimWorld has a lot of changes to it. It is actually pretty awesome. And we're going to go ahead and start a new colony with a bunch of crash landed people. Our faction will be new arrivals as opposed to a new tribe. And we start with a bunch of stuff and things. Okay, I'm actually gonna start with this basic one here. The reason being, I believe this will be the easiest way to go ahead and get us into the game and get us playing. And that way we can start looking at some of the new things that are in the game. We're gonna go ahead and play on rough with Cassandra Classic. Not gonna do permadeath mode for right now. Our seed is gonna be called Selma, apparently. Globe coverage. The planet is always the same diameter, but since it's far larger than needed for play, we don't generate the whole surface because it can take a very long time. I mean, I could tell to generate the whole surface. It would take a very long time to generate an entire planet. I do it. So yeah, this is this is going to generate literally the entire play world that we have to choose from, and before when it generated the world, it generated it in the form of a map, if you recall so that you can select a spot on the map. You still get a map of the world, but as you'll soon see, it's not flat. It's actually pretty awesome, and it goes with one of the new features that they have in the game, which is the ability to finally go outside of the colony and do things out in the rest of the world. It's so great. You'll, you'll see it. You'll be amazed. I honestly don't know how long this world generation is going to take. It probably, probably, not probably, was a huge mistake on my part to select that. But, oh, there it is. Okay, and we have an entire planet to choose from. My god, look at that. You tell me this ain't beautiful. So we could select a, a landing site. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and select a random site just for the sake of fun. But you should notice that there are different colored houses here. They're all different factions. Got the Hatnium Dominion here. The Allen faction. Red factions, I assume, are pirates, so the Gladius men and the um, little tents are going to be our tribes. So this is the Red Mesa Dominion here. Do we have any other tribe factions? I actually don't see any other ones. So it looks like we have two colonist factions, a tribe faction, which is gigantic, and one pirate faction? Yeah, it looks like we only have one pirate faction as well. All right, that's fair enough. Let's go ahead and select the random site because hey, we're crash landing. It's not like we get to pick where we go. So let's go ahead and click this a couple times here, and then I'm gonna click next without even looking at the site that we've selected. How do you like that, folks? Now this is gonna take a while because I'm gonna go ahead and generate a couple of people, but uh, you just hold on to your butts here while I go ahead and create them because. Well, we need to generate three new people. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back in a little bit here. All right, guys, we are back, and welcome to our new arrivals section here. If you notice a theme at the top yet, you might have seen it already. We have Dismas starting us off with decent shooting and melee skills as a mercenary and vat grown assassin. Also very good at construction and mining. This teetaller optimist, who is also a bit lazy and therefore works slowly, unfortunately, will not cook or do artistic things. He also will not care for other creatures, and he does not do plant work. Reynold, a squire who became a knight, because that just makes sense, absolutely fantastic at melee. Like, amazing at melee combat. Good with animals. Likes to do mining as well. Dislikes women. Trigger happy, so we probably won't be giving him a gun anytime soon. He's also a pessimist, unfortunately. And has asthma in both of his lungs, which needs to be treated right now, apparently. Which is a new mechanic. Should be interesting. And then finally, we're going to pull uh, Volpe into the mix here. A cave world tender grown up to become a recruiter. Also incapable of caring. So we don't have very many people who will do medicine. Reynold's pretty much the only one, which stinks because he needs his uh, asthma taken care of. Uh, she has a green thumb. She's also a brawler, so she likes melee fighting as well. Great growing sat, which is what we really needed, was growing and cooking. So that's kind of what I was rolling Volpe for here. 
She also the fact that she has research and social skills and animal skills as a bonus is literally a bonus to um, everything else. So I think we have a well, maybe not the most well-rounded team, but we have an even team. We have all of our skills covered here in one way, shape, or form. So we're gonna go with this team. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. All right. As always, as people come in, I'll start naming them um, accordingly as well. So you will probably see a that somewhere in here. You'll probably see a frost. You'll see some others as well. So with that taken care of here, the three of you wake in your crypt of sleep. Sarcophagi does the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to escape the pods before the ship is torn apart. Here we are, folks. Welcome to the rim. Let's go ahead and just unlock all of our steel right away. Everyone's kind of waking up. Unlock all of our weapons as well. And by unlock, of course, I do mean unforbid them. Everyone's awake. We got a lot of marshland, some deep water here. A nice, well, not really nice lake because we got all this marsh, which is kind of ugly. But the water's there. It's kind of nice. Looking around, we got some constructed roof over here and some slate walls. So maybe something we don't want to dig into just yet. Plenty of animals going around. What do we have as far as animals? We have a husky named Humphrey, who is currently attached to Dismas. Okay, good to know. Looking around some more, we got some ship chunks that we can deconstruct as time goes on. Dismas will probably be the one to work on those. Lots of swamp land around here. But you know what? I want to see exactly where we are. So in order to do that, we're going to pull up our brand new world screen. Look at that, folks. We're on Dog Mountain. No, actually, that was something else that was selected. I'm not entirely sure. But we're next to Old Man's Town. We got uh, a Lawyer's Town over here, as well as the Blue Baler. I almost called it the Blue Baller, which would have been amazing. That would have been a fantastic name. We got three pirate groups over here. Well, they're not groups. They're all part of the same group, the Gladius Men, but that stinks. And the uh, Red Mesa Dominion does not like us, so that's something to keep in mind. There is another Outlander Union somewhere around here, though. Yeah, there is a third one. Ah, I can see their, the colors are very subtle, but I can see the difference between them. And then there is the Fitobo Sovereign Kin League, which sounds like a, a fun a fun name. So now that we have this map, what we can do is actually form caravans and send them out into the world to either do trades or to even attack other factions. So those are all things that are possible. Are they something we're going to do? Probably not anytime soon. But the fact that that is available is pretty amazing, you gotta admit. Okay, so Dismas is our best shooter, so he's gonna get the survival rifle. Vulpi can shoot, but she's really, really bad at it. But still, I'm gonna have her take. Oh no, she's a brawler, so she won't like that. I mean, I want Reynold to be our melee fighter. That's like, that's the definite want. Because he's really good at it. Um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna set up camp over here. So that the enemies have to go through the marsh to get to us, which means we're going to need to cut down a lot of trees to start off our little adventure here. So we're going to set all these for caught, for being knocked down. So Reynold needs treatment. Hopefully that he won't die of his asthma, but it will get worse if he doesn't have it tended to. So how do we get him tended? Ugh, without a hospital bed, that's going to be difficult. They can walk through the shallow water, of course, so that's something to keep in mind as well. I'm starting to starting to second guess myself here. Is this where I want to set up camp, or do I want to go somewhere else? This place is almost a defensive location. If I knew what was here, I would think, you know what, I'm going to have someone go and deconstruct that just in case. Um, Dismas, you, you can't be our only constructor for now. Eventually, I'll switch over to manual priorities, but for now, I'm just going to do the automatic. Uh, Dismas can do smithing, tailoring, and crafting, so I'll have that on for him. But Vulpi needs to be able to help with the construction. All right. Uh, we do have ancient danger warning here, so we're not going to deconstruct that. I was I was pretty sure we were going to, but I wanted to be you know 100% sure. Maybe this would be a better place to start because it's just a bigger plot, or we could just set up camp in this area with the granite wall. I suppose we could do that, too. That would actually be easier. We just uh, patch this up, and then put a door here, and then put three beds in there. Boom, boom, and uh, we'll put the other one, like, right here. 
Yeah, that'll work for now, I suppose. Uh, temporary solution, but a solution nonetheless. We're going to do some mining. We're going to mine out all of that area here eventually. Reynold apparently is not going to do a darn thing. Uh, do I want him helping with construction, though? I don't know if I do. Uh, he is willing to help mine, so I want him to do that. But Dismas is easily our best at construction right now, so we're just going to leave him to that, I think. Let him go nuts. We have a lot of components sitting around here waiting to be mined. Lots of steel, I believe. I think this is a good amount of steel. Uh, once we have this area built up, we are going to want to have a place to put all of our packaged meals. So I think I'm going to just line up an area here for storage and tell it clear everything except for food for now. There we go. That way the packaged meals will be in there and they'll be safe. All right. Growing zones, I know about those. So thank you, though. Speaking of which, we should probably uh, set one up. There is actually a lot of plants around here to harvest. Lots of raspberry bushes. Unfortunately, I believe once we do harvest them, they disappear. So it's not a perfect solution. We will see here in a moment. Reynold is now resting, which is good. It doesn't treat him, though. And unfortunately, neither of us will do doc... No, neither Dismas or Volpe will do doctoring. So I might have just brought a doomed colonist with us. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if the asthma like gets to the point where it actually does kill you if not treated, but I guess the only way we're going to find out is by playing the game, eh? All right, I want to set a growing zone over here. That's what I was doing before. Uh, so I'm going to chop down a bunch of this wood. Get that taken care of. We're not hauling. Is anyone set? To Everyone's set for hauling. So we're, I guess mining is just a higher priority. That does make sense. But we need to haul the food in. And ideally the medicine too. So yeah, we're going to set another zone over here. And we're going to say, hey, we need to put our medicine somewhere. This is where we're going to put our medicine. Manufactured medicine, all of it. Yes, please. All right. Good stuff. Uh, there's some more packaged survival meals down here. Three more. That's still more. Do want to keep them if I can. We have nothing in our item list so far because we have nothing in an actual stockpile. But that's first night. That was actually pretty quick, pretty easy. I'm hoping we get a recruit soon who will do um, doctoring. Silver ore is pretty good. I'm just doing a little bit more looking around while I'm here. Some steel literally just hanging out in the middle of nowhere. More packaged survival meals out here. All right. Not sure if that means there were others around here or if that actually came from the ship and just ended up very very far from our landing site uh some more steel just out here in the middle of nowhere plenty of animals to hunt as well we have some time before we have to like make that a priority because we can start building our colony and kind of get settled in first these elk i believe these are new to the game because i don't remember those sprites before they have no legs it makes them look a little silly but i like them they they kind of look like living sausages they look like corn dogs they actually kind of look like living corn dogs, especially this one. This uh, I'm assuming this is a female, yeah. They look like corn dogs with the uh, organic little thing sticking out of the. Oh, uh, now I'm thinking now that now, now, now they just kind of look gross. Anyway, that's a lot of steel, which is all well and good. I mean, I did want to mine this steel out. That was kind of the point. Uh, that said, I don't know if I wanted to spend this much time doing it. Reynold is now starving. Because he won't get out of bed. I'm going to reduce his bed rest priority to four. And his patient priority to four. He'll do other things in that case. He's going to wake up soon and then he'll actually do some more things. But yeah. I probably shouldn't have spent the time getting all this steel. I mean it gives us a huge amount of steel for the future. But probably shouldn't have spent all that time right away. We're going to need power soon. We're going to need to research our turrets. Which will probably have to happen very, very soon. Sooner rather than later. But we have food! The berries are not refrigerated, so they will spoil eventually, which sucks. I don't know what killed this squirrel. I assume it was this fox. Um, we are going to train our husky, at least for obedience and hauling and rescuing. Yeah, we'll train it, train it for everything. Looks like the uh, slaughtering area got moved, which is good. So you don't accidentally click it and slaughter them as well. Could be bad, yo. Alright, um, 
I'm not sure we want the berries there because the berries will spoil regardless of whether they're inside or outside the stockpile. So I'm thinking raw food out of here. Just prepared food will be good. Yeah, Reynold is now cleaning because apparently he'll be he'll be fine with cleaning. These trees are not all knocked down yet. What's Volpe doing? Deconstructing ship chunks. Well, and then what's Dismas doing? Sleeping. Okay, well, fine. Another another day, another dollar of nothing getting done. Eh, well, it's, I'm not going to be that harsh on him. Come on now. We got our we got a room. We got a lot of mining done, which is something that I told them to do. So, you know, oh, our components are deteriorating. Oh, jeez, that's not good. This gun is deteriorating. All right, well, we need a shelter for our stockpile, so I guess we're going to build one out of wood, because we have plenty of wood. So just be our temporary stockpile for now. There we go. We'll build a door for it, like right here. And we, we're not going to put flooring down for it right yet. One, because I don't have the resources for it. I don't want to waste steel on it, but I'm just not going to do it at this time. Uh, I see our... Uh, Settings got set back to Celsius from Fahrenheit. That's okay for now. At least that way we know the zero is freezing and it's uh, kind of cold out right now. But you know what? Look at the rain all. Look, look at him. Let's look at him for a minute. What can he What can he tolerate? Negative 14 to 32. He's pretty good then. Yeah, negative 14 to 32. Negative 14 to 32. You know what? Everyone's going to be fine. Everyone's going to be just fine. What are you doing, rain all? You're training Humphrey. Good for you, man. At least you're doing something. And you like animals, so you training in the animal is pretty good. Calling package survival meals is ideal, because I want all of these to be in here. Yeah, we need to set up the stockpile, get a roof on it, so that we can store all of our stuff in here. Let's actually go ahead and set the stockpile zone right away. Boom. Uh, don't store food in here. Actually, you can store the raw food, I guess. But no prepared food. Let's not store our medicine in there. And that'll be it. Everything else can go right in here for now. It's not the prettiest room. And it doesn't have a roof yet. Now it's going to have a roof. Dismas is doing it for us. That's right. You put a roof over that tree. We're going to cut down that tree because it's just taking up space in there. But, yeah. All right. Good stuff. Next, we need to set up an area for us to grow. And then our base needs will be taken care of. We have food taken care of. We have social taken care of because, you know, they can talk to each other. Obviously, they would want a dining room, but let's... We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> but their needs are getting taken care of. Can I actually cut down this whole area without any problems? A visitor. A minister from the Dominion is nearby. Samantha Von Aiken. She has a few items to trade. Hello. How are you doing, Samantha von Aikion? You are a... Oh, it said you were a minister. You don't like men. Well, that's okay, because our primary um, social person is a woman. So I guess that works out. Let's see what you have. Probably nothing we want. We can sell the survival meals. We. I don't have the components in our stockpile yet, so we can't sell them, but I wouldn't want to. Short bow. Eh, nothing really amazing. Yeah, we don't. There's nothing that we want from you. But thank you for visiting us anyway. I appreciate it. Maybe someday we will do the trading. But yeah, if none of this area is rude, we should be able to mine it out with no problem, and that will give us a lot more space to work with right here. I mean, obviously it's rough granite. We're probably gonna want to turn it into a building, but it's it's something to work with. Uh, thank you for telling me how to forbid doors. I don't really need that information right now, but I will take it for the future. All right, so I think we have a solid start here. Reynold is still not... Uh, his asthma did get um, worse, so his breathing is getting worse as time goes on. This is pretty bad. Need meal source, need defenses, need treatment. Hmm. Well, we just have a bad dream or something? What the heck was that? Not sure what that was. Anyway. Yeah, we have problems problems with Reynold. We need someone who can doctor. He's the only one who can doctor. Uh, who's the, he's the only one who will doctor. Let me put it that way. Give your faction a name. Antioch. Uh, no. Our, our, our faction name is, of course, uh, team isn't really good a name for an entire faction, is it? 
And of course, we're going to give the community a name too. But what should we call our faction? Wow, I didn't really think of that. Uh, yeah. We're just going to call us the Ragamuffins. Yeah. And then we're going to call this place. Uh, we're going to call this place That's Wild Ride. Because of course we are. There we go. Faction is now known as the Ragamuffins. This community is now known as That's Wild Ride. So if we go into our faction screen here, that doesn't actually show that for us. But if we go to the world screen, we click on this, That's Wild Ride, Faction the Ragamuffins. We're here, boys. We have made our mark. It's time to make a stand and hope that we can get a recruit who will willing who is willing to doctor before Rainer Doll dies. Uh, because yeah, his breathing is down to half. Which is actually re affecting his um, movement as well. But yeah. I don't know if it actually gets worse over time or not. I don't I just don't know the mechanic for it. We'll find that out eventually. Anyway, time for a grow zone. So we're going to put one up like right here for now. And what are we going to grow there? We're going to grow something that we can eat right away. Strawberries. Yeah, Volpe's our main grower. And she does have a growing skill of over, over five. So we can grow strawberries with no problem. It's a start. It's not perfect. But at least it gives us a um, way to get food. Stove, campfire, nutrient dispenser, eh? I guess we could build one of those if you're saying so. I'll build a... We'll build a... No, not a fueled stove, I don't think. Animals don't attack doors. There's a mad animal. A local hare has gone mad and will attack everything it sees. Well, Reynald, go kill it. You are a much better fighter than it, so yeah, that was no problem. Alright, good stuff. We do want to We do want to look at building... Yeah, we have plenty of steel. We'll build a fueled stove. Why not? Do you want to build it here? Probably. Just to have it, have one up and running here. Simple research bench is a possibility. We are going to want to do research probably sooner rather than later. But we don't... <clears throat> excuse me. We don't really have the resources to do it right away. Stonecutter's bench will be really good. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up. Like right here. Uh, I will have a work speed penalty because it's outdoors. Well, first of all, thank you for telling me that. Second of all, can I build on the marshland? No. So this is not a good place to put it then. All right. It's nice to know that, actually. So, in that case, we're going to put it right in here. There we go. That will that will at least put it indoors. Do need defenses. Pirate raids will start soon. So, we could use traps, sandbags, turrets, etc. We... Really, the only one we could really use right away is sandbags. So, we are going to set up some sandbag defenses. We're just going to set it up like... You know, something... It's super temporary, so we'll just set up like this for now. If they decide to come from the other side, we'll set some up, like, right there. Very temporary, very crude, not great at all, but it's a start. Okay. Stonecutter's table, let's make some stone. Make any stone blocks. Just make, like, ten piles of them. I'm not too picky right now. So, what do we have? We have our growing zone. So, food is good. We still have Reynald with the breathing problem. And we don't have a way of treating him yet. Which is... It, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks because it's something I should have known about. I know about the bills tab, but thank you. Uh, hmm. What else could we build here? Simple research bench. We do need to build that eventually, but... We're not going to build it anytime too soon. We don't really need to worry about electricity yet. Uh, a tool cabinet could be nice. Yeah. It does work with the stonecutter's um, table, so we'll go ahead and put it there. We might turn this into like a factory eventually. Uh, setting temperature. We don't need to do that right away. Um, new lovers, Dismas and Volpe, have come together and are now lovers. That took like zero time. So, okay. I guess we'll uninstall... Well, no, we won't uninstall it. We'll deconstruct this bed and we'll put a double bed in its place. That took, like, literally zero time. Double bed. Right here. Cool. And Vulpy or Dismas can make that. What is Dismas doing? Hauling components. Oh, that's actually very good. And now he's building the bed, which is good, because that means higher quality. Probably. Normal quality bed. Is good. Is very good. 
And this will be for Volpe and Dismiss. Awesome. All right. And we have the workbench up. A Wanderer joins. Oh my god, yes. A, wa a villager named Hart has joined us. Please tell me you are willing. Won't intellectual or artistic, but he will medicine. And that's what's important. A bloodlust brawler. Another melee guy. Um, excuse me. Can I, can I look at that again? He is, um, 842 years. He's been on this planet. He's been on, in this universe. Not planet. 26 years old, though. Uh, he has pants and a shiv. So at least he kind of, he came with his own melee weapon. That said, Reynold, uh, you can go up in your priority for bed rest now. So you go ahead and rest and heart. I want you to be assigned to doctoring first. And then... I want you to treat Reynold. Thank goodness. With that, Reynold won't die. And we could still put everyone in a bed because we just set up a double bed. Oh, that was great. That timing was fantastic. So let's look at Hart's stats, see what else he's willing to do. Social and crafting. Having a crafter is actually pretty good because we're going to be making some stone blocks. We're going to be wanting to build stone buildings because they're a much better alternative to the uh, wooden ones. Do we have granite blocks? We do. We can replace this with granite. It's stronger, and it's it'll look better. All right. It's still at major, which stinks, but hopefully having it tended to will make it go down. All right. Replace those with granite, please, so that it looks a little bit better. Dismas will be doing that because he is our ultimate constructor man. Well, Volpe can help. Yep, she did it. Okay, good. We have strawberries growing. We need electricity now. I think we're actually at the point where we can make some electric items. That's cool. And fast. And Hart is just getting on this uh, stone crafting, which is amazing. I love him for it. I like our colony now. I'm liking it. Don't know who our crafter is going to be yet, but we'll think of someone. Incapable of intellectual or artistic. He's a low-wage worker scout. He likes fighting. He likes melee. Mm, we'll think about it. We'll think about who to make. Who's going to be Hart eventually as time goes on. But yes, he has a bed. Everyone has a bed. Everyone has a place to sleep. Everyone has food. Um, currently, we are low on packaged survival meals, but we are growing other foods. Uh, we need to be able to slaughter. So we are going to set up a butcher table. It probably will have a work speed penalty because it's outdoors. I'm kind of okay with that, though. I am, but I also don't want it there, I don't think. I want it, like, over here to the side. Yeah, I, I just want it there instead. Don't blame me. We will eventually. We're going to need warm clothes. Okay, yeah, because of heart. Yeah, he can only tolerate down to 8. It's going to be getting cold soon. Outdoor temperature is going to reach negative 1. Definitely something to keep in mind. But he should be okay for a couple of days. We're going to want to build a kitchen. I think I'm going to expand downwards. Which means we're going to need to move the sandbag soon. But that's that's how I'm looking at it right now. How many blocks do we have? 110 granite blocks. You know what? We can Since we can tell them to make certain blocks, make 10 more stacks of granite, yo. Yeah, get that stuff done. Look at all this granite we have. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm loving it. But that is going to be it for this first episode of That Plays RimWorld Alpha 16. Guys, if you are enjoying the series the series that just started just let me know by giving me a comment in the comment section below and liking the video as well if you want to see this particular colony and faction go a certain way let me know there are the, the the doors are wide open here we could be a peaceful colony we could try to make peace with every other faction we could attack the pirates eventually after we get strong enough we can build other colonies we are not stuck with just this one so if you know what direction you want to see the series going, let me know. Give me some suggestions in the comment section below. Otherwise, my main concentration right now is just going to be to build this colony up until I have enough people to really get a lot of good things going, and then we can look at expanding. But thank you once again, everybody, for watching. I hope you did enjoy this episode of That Plays RimWorld Alpha 16, and I will see you in the next episode.